and now and forevermore. Amen. Now to him. Friends, I'd like to tell us that we are not on this journey alone. The Bible will say in the book of Timothy that we have an anchor, a sure anchor that if we commit to him, he is able to sustain us to the end. We have Jesus Christ who is the high priest who was tempted in every way and yet without sin. He is what will sustain us. He is what will keep us. Um, man, I was listening to Tim Keller yesterday uh, talk about the, um, um, Daniel, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, um, how they are thrown in the furnace. And when they are thrown in the furnace, before they are thrown in, into the furnace, they are told to worship the statue that the king creates. And they said, um, we will not worship or king that st statue because we believe that our God is able. He can. He will. But if he does not. And the most interesting thing is that when King Nebuchadnezzar looked at the furnace, he saw four people. And he says, who's that that looks like the son of the gods? I mean, listen to me. We have a God, we have a king, we have a savior that identifies with our problems. He does not snatch us out of the furnace. He is with us even in the furnace. Wow. That even in this confusion, even in this turmoil, even in this crisis of faith, he is with us. And guess what? The Bible would say that he is the firstborn. He is the head of the church. Believer, let me encourage you and tell you that Jesus Christ owns the church. The Bible says that the gates of heads shall not prevail. Oh, even if it seems like the devil is winning. Oh, even if it feels like the false teachers are carrying the day. We have a master who cares for us, who says he will sustain us. Well, hello there and Buona Yesu Asifio. What a great joy and privilege it is to have you on set today. My name is Brian Mwashigadi. Welcome back to Harvest Conversations. It's been a while since we saw you, not really, but we are so glad to be with you yet one more time. We are getting into another um, exciting, exciting season. We just recently, we are actually in the month of love, you know, just love, we are in the heart, you know, feeling good or whatever. And so we just want to get a bit on that because um, here at Harvest Conversations, we like to have authentic, real conversations about things that are happening in our lives, the believer's life. And so today, we want to delve in for a few couple of um, sessions. We're going to just be talking about relationships. And when I say relationships, I want, to, I want us to get into the thick of it. Using real life examples, believers that are doing this thing. We're going to look at all kinds of relationships, yeah? And we just want to talk about it. So as usual, please reach out to a friend. Let them know that Harvest Conversations is on. Share this link with as many people as you can. Let them know. There are numbers that are going to be coming on our screen. Those numbers on there are for you to ask us questions, for you to give us suggestions. If there's something you think we are, we are missing out, like we are passing over, just let us know so that we want to cover everything. We want to be wholesome in our approach um, as we handle these topics concerning the body of Christ. I'm so excited because today on set, I have an amazing, amazing um, couple. They're joining us. They are going to be talking about um, relationships. We have a couple of questions for them. We just want to have a real discussion on, based on their own personal experience with the Lord Jesus Christ and with each other because relationships. All right. So I want to introduce you to my set. I'm going to give them an opportunity to each introduce themselves. So mtu aseme pake, ajiseme, aseme jina yake, 
aseme mahali yuko anafanya nini um, kama ameoa ama kuoleka yeah i want to give them an opportunity to introduce themselves i'm going to start with um, the gentleman right in the middle karibu sana uh, thank you pastor moshi uh, it's a great privilege to be here today and just uh, give an experience uh, of how our journey has been in marriage my name is edward mulo i am born again and i thank god i bless god to be here uh, yeah thank you all right thank you uh, pastor edward and uh, to the fair lady at the end karibu sana thank you uh, mr thank you moshi gadi um, my name is faith mulo i'm married to this young man for the past 16 years we are blessed with three three kids and um I'm honored and humbled to be here. Um, what I do for, uh, for business is um, I do transport and I also, I also bake. So, Kiwana Rusi, you can see me. Santi Sana. Yes, thank you very much. We are on to a good start, okay? So, um, like I've said, they're in business um, and you work on a job, they create employment for other people. So if you're there, you're looking for employment. Uh, <laughs> you know where to reach. You can reach us through those numbers. All right. Um, Faith Bakes. And let me just tell you, because personal experience, see, we have authentic talks here on Harvest Conversations. We have tasted her baking more than once, enough times. And man, man. Zucchini bread, me. Manze. The best in Nairobi so far. The best in Nairobi so far. That's true. Thank you. Um, yes. So, come on, Arusi. Also, plug us uh, in. And you want to know how to reach uh, Pastor Faith? Please let us know as well. Um, Mr. Mulwa can also really hook you up and make sure you're mobile around this city. If you want to just move around, you know, just move around. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You want to reach out uh, to Mr. Mulwa. They're going to be letting us know how we can reach them maybe on the socials. Um, in just a minute. But we just want to get uh, into that. Um, they mentioned they are married. They're married for 16 years. Blessed be God. 16 years. Yes, by the grace of God. By the grace of God. 16 years. So I want us to just get into that. How did you guys meet? Let's just jump right into it. I know there's usually like two versions of the story. Maybe you guys have one version. But let's hear it. How did you guys meet? Uh, well, Pastor Mwashigari, it was way back in 1998. Uh, when we were in high school. So there's a can, this can you come a girl. And uh, everyone was asking, hey, hey, I saw your sister, and I'm like, I have no sister in this school. Eh? So that is what prompted that we, I, 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 I see this girl that has come, and everyone is saying, she's my sister. You went to the same school? Yes, she joined later when I was there. Aha. Yes. All right. So that's your version. That's my version. But though we met in a CU meeting. Now, meeting the first day we met, it was in a CU meeting. All right. Yeah, thank, yeah, thank God for that. So you met, you met her in stories before you met her in person, in the presence, in the presence of God. In the presence of God. Come on here. <laughs> All right. Pastor Faith, is that your story? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I, I also received such comments uh, in school. I would be asked, is Edward your brother? And I would be like, no, I don't have a brother in this school. But the time that I remember I saw him, it was in a CEO meeting, and he was the DJ playing the ah, latest songs. Come on now, come on now. <laughs> playing the latest songs uh, in those years. Kina, Kirk Franklin, Ron Connolly, right? Yeah. Uh, how, uh, it was uh, the stomp and uh, yeah. revolution, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> as I was sitting um, at the back, I purposed in my heart to go and tell him that he's playing good music. So that was the first <laughs> meeting we had with him. Wow. Let me just tell you, DJ is born in Mwakumbuka. Zamuenu imefika. It is time. Oh my gosh, that's so interesting. I didn't know, I've known Mula for a long time, and I didn't know he used to be a DJ. Yeah, I used to be a DJ way back in high school. Way back. Oh, yeah, kujaribu, lakini not professionally. Ah, okay. Yeah, kujaribu. Umeritaya sasa. Uh, so, watu wanatafta watu madije wa Rusi wa sektor. Iyo season ilipita. Oh, cool. Ah, ile yes. akaset. So, nakumbuka unazumisha ah, kaset. Ah, la, 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 la. Hiyo. Hiyo wakati ilikuwa divine setup tukutana. <laughs> Come on to the divine setup in this place. Come on. Come on. Yes, please. I love it. I love it. So, uh, you guys meet at the... 
CU, you mentioned the CU, and a Cheza Pale Kinanda Chake Mungu. Um, do you think if you guys were not born again, but you were still in the same school, do you think you guys would have met? Do you think your paths would have crossed? Yeah, I think, you know, God, God works in mysterious ways, right? Uh, because at the end of the day, we are still, uh, two, I think two or three years later, I still realized we come from the same place uh, back in Kibwezi. So I think one way or another, maybe we, our path still would have crossed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So who approached the other? I'd say I was the one who approached him because I purposed in my heart to go and tell him the wonderful job he was doing. And uh, if you can remember well, it was when we were discussing it, uh, we came to realize that we come from the same place. I told you I'm from Kibwezi. You say, oh, by the way, we bought a land in Kibwezi. Mm. So it was that same day. Yeah, for me, I was a bit shy. I was a bit timid. So I was serving the Lord. Me. <laughs> I only knew the word. And I'm a somewhere surely. Mandrugu wa kiro katika bwana bwana ametukumbuka. Amen. Bwana, ay, let me tell you. You just serve the Lord with gladness. If there's a lesson, I hear, I hear a lesson there. You just serve the Lord with gladness. The Lord shall remember you. He shall raise up a faith. He sure will. Wow. So interesting. All right. So um, how, how did the courtship begin? How did you guys become like come together. Did you start going out in high school? Um, or did that come much later? Um, well, in high school, we, were, we became best of friends. Uh, but it was on and off, nothing much. Uh, after high school, then um, now we became friends. It was interesting because every time uh, our youth group in church used to go to Aboretum to pray, somehow their group also used to go to Aboretum to pray. So like three or four times. So we could leave the groups. We walk to town as we talk. And then that's how we, um, for like a period of three years. Eh? So that's how we were just good friends. Then in 2002, that's when now we started courtship. For around now four years up to 2005. So cumulatively about eight years. Of, yes, of eight, eight, friend, eight years of being good friends. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let me throw this question to Faith, just as a follow-up. Um, what was going through your mind through this period of the four years of friendship? Were you like, um, time? Are you thinking, should I see, are you seeing other people at that time? What was going through your mind? Um, it's interesting. There was a time, uh, there was another gentleman who was pursuing me. And uh, since we were friends, I came to Ed and asked him, uh, and asked him are we friends or more than friends and he said we were just friends so i gave the other guy an opportunity <laughs> then later <laughs> when we started being like friends because we could talk one thing i loved about edward was he was uh, committed to church and the church that we used to go in school i didn't like it because i didn't have many friends there so the other church the catholic church is where my my guy is one, so <laughs> that's the reason I would go to that church and even have that guy. So um, after, after being now friends, it was like I would tell him what I was going through with this relationship, and he would also tell me what he was going through with the relationship he had. So in that, uh, in that way, we, it, it came a time where we got dumped or we dumped the other guys <laughs> and then we continued on with our friendship yes all right let me just um ask another question from something you mentioned so you guys had other relationships even when you guys were friends like um we'll go to marafiki we'll go a relationship we'll go a relationship like in you guys are still friends uh, yes, that I can confirm. And you know, uh, okay, those days people were a bit serious, if I can use that term. It, it was either leading to marriage or not. So there were no trisex, Anna. You know, it's just uh, once you go into something, you commit yourself, and if it's not working, it's not working. So you don't waste at each other's time. Yeah, so it was, a, it was that clear. But one thing, uh, Faith was a good friend all along. 
I mean, we used to be open to each other, uh, the challenges that we would go through in the other relationships and all that. Because, I mean, she was the last person by the way I thought I would marry, mm -hmm. to be very honest. <laughs> uh -huh. Would you say um, that in the relationship right now, uh, with the experience that you guys have, would you say it is, a, it is an important thing for even if you're in a relationship, would you say it is an important thing for you to still have other, to still have other friends? Of course, not a, a relationship. Like, I'm in a relationship with somebody. Mm -hmm. Is it healthy or necessary for me to still keep other friendships, um, just general friendships? Would you advise on that? I would say healthy relationships, not um, any relationships that will cause you to fall. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would also think so because you see, both of us we were serving actively in our youth groups. At uh, our church, I was the youth chairman, I think. Yeah, I was the youth chairman and I was also teaching Sunday school. So you see, you can't avoid people because ministry is about people. Yeah, provided also people know uh, who you are and you are disciplined and you have integrity, then there's no problem. There's nothing to hide. Yeah. Great. Thank you. I, I, I hope that, guys, you continue to just, you're, you're milking, you're milking this, this thing. It's a, it's a very intriguing story um, about this to, you know, to our Kona Rafiki, alafu BFF, alafu sa BFF, anakwa, ndole MC, alafu, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I, uh, if you have questions, please feel free to send them this, these questions right through. We'd like to be able to answer them maybe at the very 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 tail end of the series but as you're looking at this uh, I, i'd like i'd like you to address how was the transition now moving from being best friends to now it's best friends with another label now you guys are your lovers you know you are you're looking forward to something some marriage so there's been already four years of the friendship and then now you've gotten into something else was there any change was the transition any different uh, first of all, uh, see, let me, let me state something. Eh? Uh, you know, we were already best of friends. Eh? Mm -hmm. So I knew what he wanted. By the way, she wanted a mzungu. <laughs> so I knew I'm disqualified. Did you say then. mzungu? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, so by all means, I knew I'm not a mzungu. <laughs> so me, I'm disqualified. Eh? But I think one day I sat to myself and thought, um, and my mother talked, and she said, by the way, you know what, I, I, I like Faith a lot. I love that girl. So I think that's when it hit me like, uh, by the way, you may, be, you may be having a treasure here, and you are not, so me, I wrote a letter. Those days, there were no phones. It was purely barua. And you, I, I could write my heart out. So me, I told, you, I told her, if the mzungu doesn't work, me, I'm there. <laughs> I will be your mzungu. I'll be your mzungu. <laughs> and actually, those were the, the correct the words that he used. Oh. I'll be your mzungu. <laughs> Listen to me, guys. We are giving you premium content here. This is a mystery. Usijidharao mwana mwana ngo. Usijidharao mwana ya. On account of the, the, the skin tone, <laughs> the color on your skin, you know the Lord is able to change the perception of color in the eyes of your love. Come on here. Yeah? With Sa God. With God, ah. all things are possible. <laughs> all the... <laughs> I love it. Okay, so, um, how, how, was, was, was there any difference uh, now that the label has changed? Was there any difference between how you guys used to relate? No. No. Mm, no. Yeah, because I think we had come to a point where... Um, our conversations were deep enough, so the transition was a bit smooth because the parents knew us, uh, both uh, her parents and also my parents, because uh, in fact, the, the dad was a pastor. Uh, he passed on and he was a very good friend of mine. And the moment he knew that um, someone who is committed to church, I think we clicked a lot. Yes. And so, Ali Nyongezea Mapointi Sanapal. Yes. Mm. May the Lord do that for you viewers in Jesus' name. Um, I, I want to ask, would you say um, then friendship is like Im important or paramount? Like if, if you are to place friendship and attraction, wh what, will, what is weighing more in a relationship? What should weigh more in other words? 
Um, each one has its own degree. But you see, uh, from Amzungu, the friendship eh, we had, eh, it also made her consider because kind of when you are friends, you, you better understand this person because you look maybe beyond their flaws, you are genuine, you're authentic in the way you relate. And that is, brings a, bring a big difference, you know? Because once you are friends, I mean, at times even, you don't know what to love, but that friendship keeps you going, that friendship makes you feel like, hey, I need to call that person, you know? Yes. Wow. I always say, I always tell him, before he was my husband, he was my friend. So even when we are going through issues or there are challenges, I always go back to talk to my friend, not that husband, but a friend. So it makes things easy when you're talking about them. All right. Your friends, guys. That's why it's at your friends. I want us to move it just a little bit along and just talk about um, by the time you guys decided now you're getting married. Um, Let's talk a bit about you guys deciding on planning for your wedding. What was that journey like? I know that that can place some pressure on the relationship. But what was your experience? Uh, let me start with myself. Eh? For me, it was interesting. Interesting in that uh, by that time, I was not financially stable, if I can put it that way, uh, because I had no permanent job. Uh, but you see, sometimes uh, God's favor is funny. Uh, both parents had agreed. And I remember her mom actually telling me, you know what, son? The day you miss food in your house, you come for a packet of hunger. Right? So I will say it wasn't that easy. And then uh, my, uh, I remember my dad told me one thing that I'll never forget. He told me, Edward, the situations do change. They are not permanent. So I pray God that even as you crossover, things will get better for you. So the, our parents really encouraged us. You know, like we are going to make it. If we are decided, they supported us that indeed we are going to make it. So now coming to the planning, uh, approaching friends, most of them were receptive. And you know, that's where you go borrowing ideas. So I remember I had a friend, uh, we had a friend and called to Pastor Miller. So he said, him, Yaki to 400, they each gave a thousand, so he had 400, I can land well, and 200, so 200 again, he did the wedding. So we tried that, Ikahata. I'm so ready for that testimony. Yeah, so Ikahata. But God was with us. I mean, just people came along. I remember the mothers, uh, they were saying, Attack outside get we need to cook for you because you've been teaching our children. It is the that is what we can honor you with. So I think food, everything, boats and everything came to like forty K at most. You know? And uh Ikapikwa uh and even as we did the meetings, you know, God Pial Kwanakja through his own ways. Mungina natoa rice, mungina natoa nini, like for the entire function. Uh, so that's how we managed. I wouldn't say that we were so prepared in terms of our finances, but I think God came through for us. And also the team that was in there for, to plan for us, they really worked with us also in that journey. Yes, I don't know what Faith has to say. As, as Faith is taking that one, I'd like, I'd like you to also, um, as you're looking at the wedding itself and, you know, the, the lesson that you got from it or, or what the experience was like. Um, also look into, also or, or speak into it from now your side as Sasae Hana Job, what he mentioned, not a stable income, and now where you were at that time. Um, as for me, I had a job mm -hmm. and uh, we had talked and we said, whatever I, I, whatever I get, that is what we'll start with. So uh, in the planning, um, it was interesting because every time you'll get a new group. So last Sunday, it was this group. When you may come, they've given. The other Sunday, another group. So in, uh, be because we tried the, the friend's idea to kind of a list, we were like thinking of those friends when you know that's why it backfired. So in that, um, 
it helped us. We, we raised, I think, 150, and the wedding costed 111 or 120 there. I did to come back in a change. It's 2000 and what? And five. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. By, by then, that was like a million. That's, a <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm asking for the year. I'm, I'm thinking, that's a lot of money. In 2005, that's a very lot. Much, quite truly. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I want you to just jump on that just a little bit. On you have a job. You don't have a stable job. What, how did you navigate those murky waters? I'm sure you had a lot of questions from a few people, just like, Unataka kuwa mstana na una kazi? Utakuwa mnakula nini? Na endi wakona kazi? Maybe speak to um, that situation right now for somebody who might be. Yeah. Uh, by the way, situations don't remain permanent. And, uh, and, and you know, uh, you've done your part. You know you are hard working, unajome soma, na maybe ni opportunity ya jitokeza. But what I want to thank God is uh, faith, hakwa ni darau, because I had no job. Secondly, by the way, I used to feel uh, sometimes I don't know whether I used ashamed or uh, I, I, I don't know what. Because Angelipwa na kuje we plan our salary. And I was like, I'm not even worthy of this. Why don't you just take it to your parents? Mupange uko. So, oh, that's before you guys are even married? Yeah, yeah, before even we are married. So she used to come and airtime by then it was 250. Kuka bamba 50, I'm about 20. 250. So you would. Yeah, yeah, the least. So she could buy that for me. Of course, I, I also was trying to do something, yeah? It wasn't that, uh, like, I was trying. I was trying. I bring a unit and I bring a unit and I 3,000, you know, things like those. I tried whatever I could at that particular time. Unit, nini? Oh, na leta gari kutoka Mombasa. Oh, yeah. Unalipwa. By the way, usike tu, iyo ni kama, these days unalipwa 5,000. By then it was 3,000, you know? Yes. And now, if you in a week, ama tattoo in a, ama in a, in a month, you are still somewhere because bado kwa kwa nyumba mzazi by that time. Yeah, but one thing uh, I want to say and make it very clear is, you know, at times uh, there are people who look at you and say, maybe hauna job, uh, tutapelekana wapi, ama what are you driving, ama what are you, yani ukona nini in simple words. But one thing I, I, I really thank God, you know, Faith looked beyond that. She encouraged me to become a good person and a better person and also to maximize the potential that I had. By the way, if you find one like her, marry her, then pray later. <laughs> Listen to me when I tell you, come on here, come on, come on, come on. Did you? He? Me. Smoking, where is the, the me? <laughs> Extinguisher, eh? <laughs> no, I am to pay your sanitizer up to me. Sanitize, sanitize. Wow, that's actually powerful. I like something that he said, and I want to get just back on that. That just because you're not working, does not mean that now you're just seated in the house. Yes. You're just, you can find something that's within your, your area, your passion. Because for you, cars have always been somewhere in the neighborhood. Yes. So you just found some, you reached for what is around you and yes. your passion. Yes, and, and not only cars. I use, uh, by the way, I've done uh, networking and uh, also hardware. So I used to go repair computers. I used to go do some local area networks, you know, such like. But now, Vila Uji, unanza kushika pesa, biashara, unaona. Let me stick now to this one, eh? So Where just diversify. Yeah, diversify. Mahali pesa inapatikana. Kwa hivyo, niki, nikiwa na, nikisikia ya kupandisha simiti kutoka ground floor kwa mjengo, by the way, Pasi, I did that. Wow. Mimi nime merchandise. Tuliko na tembea kutoka Mombasa Road. All the way. Uh, you pita uko mukuru, unakuja kutoka industry area, unakuja mbaka town. So, see ati, you know, God and I the effort of your hands. And uh, also, we, and I was passionate about what I was doing. All right? Yeah, so, usike tu pale. Just do something ile kidogo na weza. And then let God multiply that. And in due time, mata wa utajikuta, maluku wana expect. Mm. Yes. Because awezi ka pale pale. Trust me. Wow. Yes. Faith, uliku unaona yon, nini, yon effort. 
Was Kabisa. that one of the things you saw? Yes, I did. Wow. Well, me, let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. All right. Uh, as we begin to learn this, I, I, I really hope you're getting it. I really hope somebody's getting the encouragement. I really hope that you're also getting, you know, your soft rebuke in the name of the Lord. Labda ukopale unambia mtu mingi kama hauna gari. Kama hauna nini. Aneza kuwana yu gari lakini... Munasikia? Wee? Uwezi jua kesho. Who? Come on. Hawezi ukajua kesho yako inakaa na muna gani. Alright. Um, here's an interesting uh, thought. Eh? As, you, as, you, as you've now transited from um, being just only friends and then now you've come to uh, being in a relationship, your lovers, and then now you've transited now there is in the presence of God and many witnesses, Mefanya Arusi. So there's that transition. And you mentioned that there are now kids that have come in. Um, did your relationship change between the two of you? Post kids, post now marriage, mko uko ndani sasa mnanini, now to 16 years. Has the relationship changed or is it the exact same it was? Um, I'd say uh, if it's changing, it's the blessings like watoto kukuja. Yeah, but for friendship, it has remained. Uh, we are still friends from that time to ha uh, Hadisasa. Yes. Um, let me put it this way. You know, by the way, for the ladies, from a young age, they are maybe prepared so well. Like, utapato uh, watoto, nini, nini, nini. But I think for the man, no one really prepares you for what is to come. Because here we were, the two of us, happy, nini, 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 all the attention kwa, kwangu, all right? So all of a sudden, mtoto wa mekuja, now unashanga, hi, attention na iko happy tena. Babe, wa mekua mungine. Eh, haiko kwangu. So yes, I, I think that cycle, for me, there was a slight change because I could feel the attention is no longer there. But again, it's as I said, eh? No one really tells you as a man, and yeah, well, you know, watoto wakikuja, kuneza kwa na hivi na hivi. Yeah? Oh, nabuanga, you are the man of the house, provide, you know, pay the bills, such like. But again, it's also good to know that emotionally, there are things you need to prepare yourself psychologically, so that even during that transition, you are able to uh, be supportive to her, and also understand that uh, she, uh, the attention has not gone just because she does, she's not interested in you. Yeah, but it's because of maybe also the, the children that have come. All right. Thank you for that. Um, I, there's that which you've mentioned about the seeming gap that, you know, there's a gap that seems to be there, uh, especially with a boy child. And um, I pray that God will continue to just open up the church to those, uh, to addressing such gaps. Yeah. Um, through the various networks that we have and so on and so forth. Um, but from the, from the whole journey of marriage and, and so on and so forth, uh, planning and some of the pressures that you guys had in your younger years and some of the things that you've learned. If you had an opportunity to speak to your younger self, to Faith from back in the day or to Mush from back in the day, what would you say to them? What advice would you give your younger self concerning my, now standing on this side? You're telling them from where I'm standing, one, two, three. What would you say to them? I think uh, what I will tell the younger Edward is, first of all, never underestimate the power of prayer. You know, we used to pray. Uh, we used to fast with her. That I knew God, come at, uh, to Tamariana, you know, bless our union. Uh, let us grow. Let us have this. Let us have that. You know, as in the blessing of God, it to forward it. And you know, when you look back, you can rest easy knowing that God was in control. Because by that time, you worry a lot. Mm -hmm. And you are thinking, how will things work? How will this... Uh, but I think once you see what God has in store for you, I mean, you can rest easy knowing that God has it in your hands. He's a God who is concerned about you, and he's a God uh, who will never leave you nor forsake you, you know. So you can rest easy knowing that where Omba... Uh, do your bit. Napo pengine, you trust God. Wow. Yes. 
Wow. Never underestimate the power of prayer. Faith, what would you say to your younger self? I'd say, I'd say, um, like, uh, learn, I would say like him, learn to trust God in everything. I remember uh, in those days, um, there's a guy who told him uh, that statement you've said. I'd say, sir, where were you now? Or I remember even me being told, oh, Mr. Namarembo, Aliona, who you ndugu? Those such kind of words. But you, you find that when you focus on something, go ahead and do that. Don't look back or listen to adver- um, negative advices from other people. Yeah. Wow. Guys, we are here bringing you a free premarital class for all of you that would like to join. I hope. For those of you that are from the DC IKZ, please don't skip that premarital class. This is just an additional. If you are not from DC IKZ, uh, please go to that your premarital class, and then this is just an additional. All right, I, 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 we would love to stay here for much longer and just learn from from the Mulwas, uh, talk about parenting. Maybe maybe we'll have them on when we are talking about parenting because they have children. Um, uh, some who are a bit grown and others who are uh, a bit small. Um, now more and more, you know, they continue to experience uh, those things about, you know, you have a full house and then now all of a sudden, and all those things. Maybe we'll have them on to just talk about that. Um, but I want you to just uh, speak to people that might be joining or that might be watching. This is for young people, but we know we might have young people who are married already and maybe they are going through it in their marriages. Uh, I know we haven't had time to talk about conflicts, and I'm sure that you guys have had conflicts in your marriage and how you resolve enough, them. Enough of them. Enough of them. So speak to somebody who might be joining us and they are, they are experiencing a conflict or lack or things are not what they were when they got together. Um, so what would you say to those people? Just speak to the people. Um, what, I, what I will say to someone maybe going through any issue or maybe even yours is just okay. Uh, one thing is learn to enjoy the journey. Even in those difficulties, learn to enjoy the journey where you are. I mean, Leo, you cannot afford bread. Enjoy it. Kuleni ogali with the happiness. You know, sometimes we focus too much on palembele until we forget even to enjoy just where we are. And number two, uh, learn to communicate. Uh, the, uh, you guys came from different backgrounds, and uh, you know, as you communicate, that's when your partner can understand you better. Even while in the process of courting, you know, we say learn to feature your feelings, express your feelings. If you are mad, you are mad. Let someone know you for who you are. You know your true colors. There's no need to boycott and just uh, give a facade sort of thing like a fake thing. Eh? Yeah, learn to communicate well, enjoy the journey, and be committed. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Okay, one thing I've seen with the current youth, let me say that, uh, first of all, they get jobs pretty early, and they start living good life. Uh, it's hard nowadays to find a youth who doesn't stay kiviake. Like for us, uh, we came straight from our parents. Akukua na that atumendo mejikalisha kiviako. So for us, it was straight from mom to marriage. Okay, now uh, what I'm saying about these youths, it's like when they get into marriage, and expect that good life she or he was living, yendele. And now you have someone else who has, who, who has been raised differently. And you want to make your own statements because you are like, when I, when I wake up, I do go to work and do this and that. So hapa, a husband amekuja and yambia ni mpiki a breakfast. Me, you find that someone would say, uh, in those days when I didn't want to eat, I would sleep. And I piki mze. So they start, inanza conflict inanza, even before kids come. Yeah. Hey, yeah. let me just tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad. All right, there's some heavy things. Are you, are you guys on that? Are you guys some heavy things? Thank you so much, um, Pastor Edward. Uh, the two of them are foodies. I know that they love food. You had uh, Faith Bakes, Mulwa Cooks. 
I've been to his house a couple of times. I've had breakfast. So, you guys were to describe your relationship using food, using a meal. If you were to describe a relationship, your relationship uh, right now using a meal, what would the meal be? Um, you, you know we are in the fasting period. <laughs> I'm not sensitive to food right now. Um, <laughs> uh, but one thing I like, eh? I usually like the way a fruitcake is done. Fruitcake? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, it's infused for months, behind the scenes. To be infused? Yani in echo is or cherries. Uh-huh. Uh, Sultana's raisins. Raisins, you know, is of Tuzote. Because mm-hmm. I see her do the, mm-hmm. the things. Me, I'm going to go to So, <laughs> but, but you see, you appreciate the process more mm-hmm. uh, and the time it takes because the longer they're infused, the sweeter that fruitcake becomes. You know? Mm-hmm. So, at times, yeah, I, I think the lesson there is just uh, taking time and allowing and enjoying also the process uh, towards before even you take that cake. Mm. Uh, yani appreciating the process. Rather. Yeah. Fruitcake. Yeah. Faith, do you agree or do you want to give us a different meal? <laughs> I agree, but mm. I also have a different yes. opinion. <laughs> uh, for me, it's bread. Mm-hmm. When you're making bread, mm-hmm. it has like so many steps. Mm-hmm. First of all, the yeast has to be alive. Mm-hmm. That is step one. Mm-hmm. Then step, step two, there's the putting in the flour, mm-hmm. and then you, you, beat, you knead it, mm-hmm. then you let it rise. Mm-hmm. And rising, it will take like another hour or so. Mm-hmm. After that, again, you come and punch it down. Mm-hmm. And, and again, put it in tins mm-hmm. for it again to proof. Mm-hmm. Oven. Mm-hmm. But the goodness is the sweet aroma when mm-hmm. baking bread. You mm-hmm. can always tell there's a bakery somewhere mm-hmm. here. So that, uh, th- that's what I would re- uh, describe uh, oh. the relationship. Wow. Yeah. Let me just tell you. Apart from what I said, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Bread. The rising, the yeast is alive. I'm going to tell you. It's so rich. It's all so rich. I'm going to tell you. I'm so hungry all of a sudden. We are still fasting. <laughs> but thank you so much. It's been a joy to have you. The Mulwas on set. I had with me Pastor Edward Mulwa and Pastor Faith Mulwa. It's so good to be with them yet one more time. If you'd love to have them back on set, please let us know. We would love to have them back. But please let us know in the comments if you have questions to, uh, for them or questions you think they would answer. If you maybe have something you know, along the lines and you didn't get it like please reach out to us, let us know. We'll find a way to have them answer those questions um, after all this is said and done. But thank you for hanging with us. That's all the time we have for today. Remember to keep your eyes peeled on our next sessions. We're going to do this every once in a while. We'll have a couple come and join us and just make our journey rich because that's one of the things. It's a small um, dent in the whole wall of marriage. We want to make sure that we are building... um, marriages that can last, that can stand the test of time because it is God's idea and God's idea can never die, it can never fail. All right, thank you for being with us. The Lord bless you and keep you. Thank you, Pastor Edward. Thank and you so much Pastor for inviting Faith us. Thank for you being for with having us. us. We loved being with you. From all of us and the team that's behind the scenes, hard at work, making it possible, we want to say thank you so much. The Lord, do you good and see you next time. God bless.